Anatoly Kudryavitsky is a Russian-Irish novelist, poet, editor and literary translator. Kudryavitsky's father, Yerzhe, was a Ukrainian-born Polish naval officer who served in the Russian fleet based in the Far East, while his mother Nelly Kitterick, a music teacher, was the daughter of an Irishman from County Mayo who ended up in one of Joseph Stalin's concentration camps. His aunt Isabel Kitterick, also a music teacher as well as a musicologist, published a critically acclaimed book titled Chopin's Lyrical Diary. Having lived in Russia and Germany, Kudryavitsky now lives in South Dublin. Educated at Moscow Medical University, Kudryavitsky later studied Irish history and culture. In the 1980s he worked as a researcher in immunology, a journalist, and a literary translator. He started writing poetry in 1978, but under the communists was not permitted to publish his work openly. American poet Leonard Schwartz described him as a Samizdat poet who had to put up with a good deal of abuse during the communist period and who has only been able to publish openly in recent years. In his Poetics of Silence the words count as much for the silence they make possible. As for what they say themselves since 1989, Kudryavitsky has published a number of short stories and seven collections of his Russian poems, the most recent being in The White Flame of Waiting, The Field of Eternal Stories, Graffiti, and Visitor's Book. He has also published translations from English into Russian of such authors and poets as John Galsworthy, William Somerset Maugham, Stephen Leacock, Arthur Conan Doyle, Emily Dickinson, Stephen Crane, Jim Morrison, all in book form. From 1993 till 1995 he was a member of the Malo Imaginist Poetry Group. In the mid-1990s he edited the literary magazine Sterlet slash The Archer and an Austrani Literatura slash Foreign Literature, as well as Poetry of Silence, an anthology of new Russian poetry. Two other anthologies, Vuzukaini Dieti, an anthology of Russian short stories and prose miniatures written in the second half of the 20th century. And the anthology titled Imagism were published more recently. The latter won the Independent Slash Ex Libris Best Translated Poetry Book of the Year Award in 2001. Kudryavitsky is a member of the Russian Writers' Union and Irish and International Pen. In 1998 he founded the Russian Poetry Society and became its first president. Joseph Brodsky described him as a poet who gives voice to Russian silence. After moving to Ireland in 2002, Kudryavitsky has written poetry, including haiku, predominantly in English, but continues to write fiction in Russian. Between 2006 and 2009 he worked as a creative writing tutor giving classes to members of Ireland's minority language communities. His book of English poems entitled Shadow of Time was published in Ireland by Goldsmith Press. Irish poet Iggy McGovern mentioned Shadow of Time among the best Irish books of the year. A Night in the Nambokov Hotel, the anthology of contemporary Russian poetry translated into English by Kudryavitsky, was published in 2006 by Daedalus Press. He has translated more than 40 contemporary Irish, English and American poets into Russian, and his own work has been translated into nine languages. He won the Edgeworth Prize for Poetry in 2003, and in 2017, the Mihai Eminescu Poetry Prize in Romania. In 2007, he re-established Okno, a Russian-language poetry magazine, as a web-only journal after a lapse of some 83 years, and edited it until 2014. In 2008, Kudryavitsky's novel titled The Casebook of Inspector Mills was published in Moscow by Zakharov Books. This satirical novel is set in London and bears the markings of the magic realism genre. In early 2009, another magic realist work of his, a novella entitled A Parade of Mirrors and Reflections, appeared in Dieti Ra, a Russian literary magazine. In this novella, Yuri and Dropov undergoes cloning. Kudryavitsky's other novella titled A Journey of a Snail to the Center of the Shell appeared in the same Deity Raw magazine in July 2010. It is an extended high boon about the life and writings of a fictitious 19th-century Japanese haiku poet. His second novel, The Flying Dutchman, the first part of which has appeared in Okno magazine, was published in book form in 2013. The work of magic realism has a subtitle, a symphonic poem, and is written as a narrative mosaic of episodes set in both real and surreal worlds. It is about a Russian musicologist living in the 1970s and researching into the operas based on the old legend of the Flying Dutchman. He suddenly finds himself in trouble with the KGB, survives an attempt on his life and has to go into hiding. He escapes to a remote Russian province and rents an old house located on the bank of a big Russian river, where he lives like a recluse, observing nature and working on his new book. The house, which used to be an old barge, undergoes strange metamorphoses, rebuilding itself as a medieval ship. 
after some time the Russian police and the KGB locate his new whereabouts, put him under surveillance, and later figure out his identity. Now he is facing a choice between staying in the real world and escaping into another reality on board the Flying Dutchman ship. The English translation of his third novel, Shadowplay on a Sunless Day, has been published in England by Glagoslav Publications in autumn 2013. Simultaneously with the Russian edition, under one cover with his novella Parade of Mirrors and Reflections. The book titled Disunity was launched at the Frankfurt Book Fair 2013. The novel narrates about life in modern days Moscow and emigrant life in Western Germany, and deals with problems of self-identification, national identity and the crises of the generation of new Europeans. According to Dublin Review of Books, Kudryavitsky explores and exposes the complexities of immigrant experience and identity, and the often arbitrary and dubious desires of a society to improve itself through selection and exclusion. Karol Ermakova wrote the following in The Linguist, Kudryavitsky's work is often poetic, even lyrical, and one of the stylistic devices he often makes use of is the extended metaphor, often in association with the personification of nature. Another common theme is the overlap of the real-slash-surreal, the merging of waking reality and the dream, and the juxtaposition of the beautiful and the grotesque. Kudryavitsky was one of the judges for the 2010 International Dublin Literary Award. Kudryavitsky started writing haiku in Ireland. In 2006, he founded the Irish Haiku Society with Shifro Donovan and Martin Vaughan. He is the current chairman of the society and editor of Shamrock Haiku Journal. In 2007, one of his haiku won honorable mention at the Vancouver International Cherry Blossom Festival. In the same year he was awarded Kapalaveri Haiku 2007 Premio Internazionale di Poesia. In 2008, he won the Saruga Baika Haiku Prize of Excellence with the following haiku. In 2012, he won the Vladimir Devit International Haiku Award with the following haiku. In 2014, he won that award for the second time, with the following haiku. He has translated haiku from several European languages into English. His haiku collection titled Capering Moons was shortlisted for the Haiku Foundation Touchstone Distinguished Book Award 2011. In 2012, he edited an anthology of haiku poetry from Ireland, Bamboo Dreams, which was shortlisted for the Haiku Foundation Touchstone Distinguished Book Award 2012. And in 2016, an anthology of new haiku writing from Ireland, Between the Leaves. The same year Red Moon Press published his collection of haiku and related poems titled Horizon. In 2020, a book of his new and selected haiku and haibun entitled 10,000 Birds was published in India by Cyberwit Press. In his interview for the Haiku International Association website he said the following, Haiku writing seems to be intuitive. Also, it changes a haiku poet's personality. Succumbing to the habit of self-observation, a poet can trace those changes in himself. This will probably give him a chance to look into himself. To connect with his inner self in this way. His other poems published since 2015, especially the ones included in his chapbook entitled Stowaway in his 2019 collection, The Two-Headed Man and the Paper Life, have been described as surrealist. According to the critic Michael S. Begnell, reviewing Kudryavitsky's Stowaway, his style is abstract. Alliteration and sibilance lead the way to a spectacular image. He is interested in the way images and language both construct our perception of the world, of consciousness. Another critic noted that in his work, Ever-present is a tension between abstraction and reality, a questioning of the existence of truth. Since 2017 Kudryavitsky has been editing. Survision Magazine, an international online outlet for surrealist poetry, which also has a book publishing imprint, Survision Books. He edited and translated into English four anthologies of Russian poetry and anthologies of contemporary German and Ukrainian poetry published in the UK and Ireland. In 2020, he won the English Pen Translate Award for Accursed Poets, his anthology of dissident poetry from Soviet Russia. Books Chapbooks. Thanks for watching.